Hello, dear ones. Um, I thought I'd mention something from my clairaudient experience that I'm kind of interpreting it um, and and extrapolating from it. And you'll be the judge of whether it, it it is useful to you in your mental world and in your spiritual clarification. Okay. Um, I was listening. I've been listening clairaudiently or telepathically to this person or that and uh, sometimes I sense in men uh, I sense their emotions very strongly kind of unruly sometimes very negative and yet uh, when I'm in their presence physically what I hear from them how they're they are in the world is very rational very together you know, could be very urbane, sophisticated. It might be uh, very unemotional. And yet, what I hear clairaudiently from them is this welter of emotions uh, that somehow track what they're saying, but they're much more strident. The emotion is much more strident and unruly. Uh, what I might say socially unacceptable you know according to what we think today but in fact the way that they feel apparently so just what I have to say about that is as we go through the process of ascension all of this welter from the emotional body needs to be united to the mental body's sanity and to become one body now, or not one body, but very connected together. Now, what's stopping that from happening? There's like a veil between those two bodies. As the ascension continues, little pinholes of light, um, channels of, of light, start to connect the mental body with the emotional body. And so, in the case of men, as the ascension process continues, they begin to get in touch with emotions that they didn't, that were walled off from them. And it even may seem that it's not their emotions, that they could never have such emotions. And in the case of women, it's the opposite. It's very strange. Women are in contact very generally with their emotional body and not so much so with their higher mental faculties. They're ruled by emotions. Not all women, but quite a few. And as their ascension process continues, it works in the other direction. They get more and more in touch with their higher mental functions, what you might call the cosmic mind, the universal mind the male and female aspect of their mind, and then some. So integration, unity in both cases, and it may seem like it's not even you. You may feel you're channeling. If you're a woman and you start to access your higher mind, you may feel you're channeling someone else. <laughs> if you're a man and you start to access your emotional body, you may think it's somebody else completely that you're talking to. It's so funny in 3D. We've been so disconnected from who we are. But the outcome, I think, after all this weltering confusion will be uh, harmony, a wonderful sense of harmony. So it's worth it, I think. See you later.